going to be doing a different video. Uh, we're going to be talking about sitcoms and then our top five favorite sitcoms. Uh, and uh, you know Jake, we all thought he was just a wrestling kid, but no, apparently he's a TV guy. Well, I'm I'm a sport guy first, but I didn't yeah. really watch sports with. Sorry. Except wrestling. <laughs> yeah. Um. Today, I got a lot of sitcoms on here. Uh, obviously, it's not every single sitcom ever, because if that was the case, then the video would be forever. But, probably going to be like, I don't know, 20, half hour uh, long video. But, uh, let's just start talking about some TV shows. Um, I wish I got your list so that we could avoid it, but uh, let's just talk about Friends. Personally, I think it's kind of overrated nowadays. Everyone talks about it. Everyone posts about it on Facebook. I'm like, yeah, it's an amazing show, but it's just it's, everyone talks about it nowadays. So I think Friends is the what's there right now. Friends is my top sitcom. Friends is my favorite uh, sitcom all right, of all time. Thanks for right spoiling there. it. Friends is right there first. Um, then How I Met Your Mother. That's a really good show. A lot of people hate the ending. I actually liked it. Uh, you never watched it, right? No, I did when I was younger. I was like eight. So it's, I, I don't it's, remember. It's kind of like Friends, except a little more serious. Let's uh, explain it. Next up, Seinfeld. And the mic is down. Woo! Oh, grand. man. I hope. I hope that I didn't make a lot of unnecessary sound. Why don't you start? No. No? Alright, let's just keep going. Hope that I didn't make a lot of noise. I'm sorry. Um, Seinfeld. The show my, about nothing. One of, my sh one of my favorite shows of all time. Seinfeld is a funny show. And I've, I've watched it since I was like eight. So like, I'm, I still I feel like it. you just gave me a dirty look when I said the show about nothing. It that's, They literally they say it's a show about nothing. Jesus. Friends is one of my favorite shows of all time, so... Seinfeld, I... It's a good show. No, not Friends. Seinfeld. I don't know why I said Friends. Seinfeld is one of my favorite shows. Seinfeld, I really do like. Um, it's... Like, you don't have to watch every episode to get it. Especially for the first few seasons. Um, and then, yeah. It's, it's, it's just a good show. One that's not on the list, real quick. Drake and Josh. Yeah, Drake and Josh. Drake and Josh was our shit. Like, yeah. the kids... Millennials grew up with like the 90s Nickelodeon shows, which I'm kind of jealous of them because I can't, I can't watch it now because it's just like I look at my ears, it's not really my type, but Spongebob and Drake and Josh, that was the two for me. <laughs> Mine was Drake and Josh and mm, Courage the Cowardly Dog. Courage the Cowardly Dog. Yeah, I remember watching that. And then I didn't like it so much because it's cowardly. Uh, I don't know, it's alright. And it's getting dark now, so let's just turn on this light real quick. There we go. That's better, yeah. Uh, alright, uh, next up, Cheers. I never really liked it. I really like it. It's a good show to watch when it's snowing out, when it's raining out, and you just... Or you just hanging out in your house all day with nothing else to do. Um, next up, Frasier. Spin-off of Cheers. I'm not favorite Somehow, Cheers. that show is better than Cheers. It is. Um, I heard that Kelsey Grammer was, like, always drunk on set. Really? On Cheers and Frasier, and he had to go to rehab at a certain point. Um, which, I mean... I'm not sure if he still has those problems now, but, um... Who's Kelsey Grammer? Frazier. Dumbass. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I know, I was only kidding, bro. God. Um... But, dude, Fra Kelsey Grammer was a Republican. So? Yeah, I mean, I know it's so, but I'm... No more... need to bring politics in here, don't Yeah, I know. No need to bring All right, uh, next up, The Office. I watched it when I was, like, 7 to 10. I haven't really watched it. So you think it's overrated? No. Well, I just gotta rewatch it. I'll, I'll, I'll 
I like it. I feel like I like it. So oh, that's yeah, that's a good show. A really good show. Um, it's getting popular now. Have you noticed that? Um, a does, lot of people are talking have, about it. A lot does of people. There's rumors that there's jokes. gonna be a remake, but without. Steve Carroll. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're uh, rebooting it. Um, I, I don't think it's real because they haven't offered it to uh, Jenna Fisher. But next up, Parks and Rec, which was gonna be a spinoff of The Office, but I'm glad it's not because uh, it's just better in its own separate universe. Never seen it. Good show. I, you would like it. Um, next up, <coughs> I'm currently watching it now on Netflix. A uh, new girl. Never seen it. Surprisingly, it's not that bad. It's kind of like How I Met Your Mother, except How I Met Your Mother is a little bit better, in my opinion. It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Never seen it. Great fucking show. I'll talk about it later. Uh, Family Guy. Seen it. That's no considered, um... Probably my second favorite adult cartoon of all time. Right behind South cartoon. Park. The first one being South Park? I mean, I, I never really watched uh, South Park through... Uh, not the biggest fan of adult cartoons, just because of Family Guy, because they, I don't know. You don't like Family Guy? I mean, I do, but it's drawn out. They need to stop. Um, next up, That 70s Show. I don't like that. I fucking love that show. Um, it, the last season sucked horribly. It was just the way they wrote it. I uh, wasn't anything else to it, um. I don't think they should have ended it right on the spot, but actually, you know, I don't think you about it. The way it ended, not, no, no, like the way she, there's like, how many seasons is there, you know? No, I didn't really watch well, it. Well, the season before the last one, the season finale of that season would be the perfect ending of the show, but, um, it was, it was not. Uh, The Ranch, which is on Netflix. Uh, some of the cast of that seventy show reunited for the show. The first season, or the first part, um, it was okay. I've never seen it, so... I'm just, you know, I'm just saying, but, um, uh, after that, it just gets better and better, honestly. Um, now, here's a show that I never watched, but I do plan on watching it on Hulu, 30 Rock. Uh, it's political, uh, I think, uh, and I think, it, I'm not sure if it has dark humor or dry humor, it might be both, but, uh, anyways, and finally, Golden Girls. It sounds like a woman show. Yeah, that's why I don't, that's why it's not in my top five, because it's like, I don't understand what they're talking about, I mean, it's like. You said you love the Golden Girls. Yeah, I do. I love, um, what's her name? Uh, Bl uh no, not Blanche. Uh, Dorothy. Is it, How is she it, fucking roasts everyone, and then, uh, Sophia, her mother, isn't roasts everyone. Isn't, like, three of the four dead? Yeah, uh, they're, uh, yeah, three of the four of them are dead, and the only one alive. Honestly, I, she's gonna die any day now, though, unfortunately. But you were? Yeah. Uh, Golden Girls is a good show. It's just, it's... Not the best to come, in our opinion. Anyways, let's do a top five. And, like, I'll do my five, you do your five, and we'll go from there. So, you want to go first? You can, go, you can go first. My number five sitcom of all times is The Office. Um, it's, uh, it's just a good show. Uh, once Steve Carell leave, I'm surprised the show even lasted that long. Um, you know, after he left, but... It's just, it's kind of original, um, the mockumentary, like the fake documentary, what? Where's Two and a Half Men on your list? Uh, I never watched that. What? Are you kidding me? You, you should have said You've it before we started the top five. you never seen Two and a Half Men? Oh my Best god. Best of Anyways, The Office. I like the, I like the characters, and the story is pretty good. Um, Michael Scott is hilarious. Alright, what's your uh, fifth, fifth favorite sitcom of all times? See, I don't have a list. I told you to make a <laughs> fucking list! It's kind of hard. It's hard. I know it's hard! List. Hard to make a list. So. Fine, just go in any order you want. 
I just say whatever. Five would probably have to be. I don't know. Just say one. Okay, it's not top five anymore for you. It's still top five for me. So just say one of them. If I only have four shows, I I, I only have four shows of my five. I was not uh, planned for this. I told I told him like a half hour ago, a little more than that to get right to make a list and to think of some sitcoms. But no, you wanna look at this? Alright, I'll do my number four. What's my number four? Okay, my number four is always Sunny in Philadelphia. It's... I wouldn't say it's the most original idea ever, but... Some of the things they do are so fucking hilarious. The first season is... is good. With the, like, the ranch. It gets better and better after each season. And when you start a new season, there's only 10 episodes per season, and there's like 12 seasons, so it's, you know, really easy to watch and get home from school, work, whatever, and just start watching. Um, I kind of like Seinfeld. You don't have to watch, you know, you don't have to watch every single episode leading up to it, but it's recommended, so you get the references and the running gags and all that. Um, but... Yeah, um, they're, they're very edgy, and they're very dark at times, but it's just all handled very well. Don't rip it all of you know. It's all handled very well, like, <laughs> in, in, the, in the last season, in the, in the 12th season, they threw around the N-word a couple of times, and I'm just like, what the fuck? Um, I was shocked. And this is on, like, national television, too. What show are you talking about? Hmm? What show are you talking about? It's always sunny in Philadelphia. You're not listening to me, Jay? God. Um, but yeah, that's my, uh, that's my number four. So what's yours? Yeah. My number five? Yeah. It's gonna be The Office. I'm putting, I'm putting The Office in number five because... What? What? What's, what's the word about that, Doug? You're copying me. No, what? I'm not, you idiot. I put... Okay, one, 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 one. <laughs> One fucking common show. I'm putting the opposite five because I haven't watched it since I was ten. But I remember I used to love the show. And if I watch it now, I'm going to like it anyway. Because, like, back then I wouldn't get, like, some of the jokes. But now I'd get the jokes. And, like, I've watched a couple of episodes over my friends' houses. So, like, I know. Like, I remember, like, all the characters and stuff. But, like, I probably have to re uh, rewatch it soon when I'm bored at, like, nighttime. It's, like, 12 a.m watch some fucking office so office number five number four 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 be Seinfeld I put Seinfeld number four Seinfeld I grew I grew up watching it with my dad so and I still watch it today Seinfeld is a really funny show Kramer fucking Jerry and all of them, Elaine, fucking Norman, George, George, yeah. I, I was gonna say him next, but no, you gotta butt in. I heard ever so was a suit Nazi. No suit for you. That was probably one of my funniest. That's everyone's favorite. Episode. Yeah, that was a really good episode. So Seinfeld, yeah, it's up there. <coughs> the ending, I really did not like. I didn't like how they ended yeah. it like that. They should have did something better with the ending, but that's all right. So one of my favorite shows of all time. Uh, number four. You want to do your number three? You want me to do number three? You can do it. Number three is, for me personally, is How I Met Your Mother. Again, a lot of people hated the ending. I liked it. I mean, it's all subjective, so don't, you know, if you're one of those people that hate on people for not liking what they like, calm the fuck down. It's, it's, it's all art, but, uh, they have pretty good running gags. Like, there's one character that's Canadian, and they just keep bashing on that, and it's, it's, it's hilarious. And, um, 
Yeah, and some of the characters are so sweet, and it's, it's just a good show. You can, again, watch it. At, I mean, How Many Mother is kind of, the kind of show you watch from the beginning to end, because he's telling a story of how he met these kids, his kid's mother. So, uh, yeah, but, yeah, man, this, this is a good show, so what's your number three? My number three is Two and a Half Men. Great show. I watch it every night before I go to bed. Wait, what show? Two and a Half Men. Oh. It's on from like 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. on Nick. So, like, I watch it all the time. Summer vacation. <laughs> Two and a Half Men. Uh, after Charlie left, you know, after he left, it kind of went down, but when Charlie was there, from when he was there till he, till he left, great show. The ending, the ending was so bad. They wanted to get Charlie back, but he didn't want to. So the ending, they put like a fake Charlie, and they dropped a piano on him after he came back from freaking, after he came back from, uh... That's a spoiler, man. After he came back from jail. I think it was jail. Was there a reason? No, I was thought he died. Like, he, in the last season, when he was there, he died, like, off screen, and... Yeah, it was, but then, like, they, like, changed it for some stupid reason. He was coming back home and they dropped a piano on him. It was really stupid. So it was a flashback? No, it was a really stupid ending, and then, like, well, like the director, they shot it to the director, and then the director, like, winked or something, and then the director just ruined the ending. Really bad ending. They should have done something better with that. So yeah, Two and a Half Men would be a little higher, probably number two, if Charlie didn't leave in the ending, if they changed well, the Well, I mean, he ending. had to leave, because he was going fucking insane, so... Maybe if they just ended it there. Yeah, yeah, they, they shouldn't have they shouldn't have put Ashley Kutcher in there, it kind of ruined the whole... He, he was, he, he was missed in the last 70s show, but he was not wanted. He was not and, good, yeah. Um, Alright, my number two. Friends. Um, again, a lot of people soiled, like, soiled it for me. So, like, I like the chemistry. Joey, towards the end, he was just too dumb. I, I don't know. Like, I liked him in the beginning where he was kind of like, sometimes you didn't know what was going on, but he, uh, he's just, like, Joey really didn't help. Um, uh, hey, get no. <laughs> we're back. Uh, yeah, we're back one second later. Yeah, friends. Um, it's a good show, good characters. It's just, it kind of takes too long to get to the point towards the end of the show. Uh, you can tell the writers were wearing a little bit thin, and the actors were wearing a little bit thin, even though they were getting a million dollars per episode. Whatever. So that's my, uh, that's my number two. What's your number two, Jake? My number two. This would be number one, no doubt, if there was more seasons. Only four seasons of this show. If these had, if this had two more seasons, it'd be my number one. But my, my number two is Drake and Josh. Funny ass show. I mean... It, it was but destined for many seasons. Nah, if they made like one more, two more seasons, it'd be, it'd yeah. be, it'd be really good. Oh, by the way, if you hear the dog, sorry, I'll step on it later. Oh, um, really, really good show. And I mean, I don't know, it was just really funny, especially season four when jo when Josh got skinnier. I feel like he got really, really funny. So. I mean, even when he was still a little yeah, chubby. Yeah, when he was still chubby, he was funny. It was just a like funny show. The first season was like. Mm. But, and I didn't like how Myrna Cosgrove went for iCarly. And if people think iCarly was better than Drake and Josh, you are fucking tapped. Get the hell out of here. I mean, so, I, I like iCarly. It's just Drake and Josh. I think my favorite ever. What's your favorite episode of Drake and Josh? <laughs> when they're uh, when they're stuck at their English teacher's house. <laughs> oh, the dog? In the, in the bathroom. The I, I, really, I really like that one. I like, I like the... Uh, no, because of one, one moment. Alright, open the door in three. One, <laughs> two, three. He runs out the door full speed and slams into it and Josh just like... <laughs> well, I think my favorite episode was uh, the steer straight when they got locked up and then like... The, uh, yeah, like, I don't too much. The guy took the police car and they robbed him. Or when uh, Minnie got a new boyfriend named Chad. And Josh, like, freaked out. He's like, ooh, new boyfriend's name's Chad. And he's like, and then, like, Chad asked Josh, he's like, 
Can I get some refill on uh, some ginger ale? And Josh is like, I'll freaking get like a tanker truck, fill your whole mouth up, so all the ginger ale of the Earth's population will be gone or something like that. It was so fucking hard. And then it turns out Chad was her cousin. <laughs> yeah, Chad was her cousin. And that was, I don't know, that's uh, it's just a really funny episode. They could have done something more with the ending. It was a dance contest. The ending. Yeah. They should have ended it a different way, but then they made two movies after. Was it one movie? No, it was two movies. No, it was one. Because Grace and Josh go to Hollywood was t when uh, Josh was a little chubby. And then Drake and Josh Christmas was after. I think. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's true. Um, I, I don't think we're ever going to get another Drake and Josh anything. Uh... Some stuff happened between them. Yeah, but now they're friends again, though. Um, still drama, whatever, but it's like, I don't know. A spinoff would be cool. Yeah, there is a spinoff. It's called I Can't nah. No, no spinoff, like a reboot. Maybe for like two or three seasons. I, I, thought, I feel like it'd be funny. Well, actually, maybe, yeah, like a reboot where it's like Drake and Josh live in an apartment together. I don't know, that would be cool, but I guess it's probably not going to happen. Um, anyways. Like if Dan Schneider got, like, fired from Nick. I heard Dan Schneider was a weirdo. I heard he's, like, obsessed with feet. And he's shit. What? He's what? He's obsessed with feet. I mean... Yeah, it's a fetish, but it's not that weird. Yes, it is. So, There's a lot of people out Doug, there... Doug just admitted that he likes feet guys. No, 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 it's not that. It's because... My favorite director, Quentin Tarantino, has a fetish that is like he likes feet. So, I don't know. That's so weird. It is weird, but it's like, the reason why I'm saying it's not as weird as, it, as you think it is, is because I've heard of it before. So, anyways, can I give my number one? Doug's number one is Frasier, everybody. Oh, dude, what the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, Frasier. Frasier, man. That's such a good show. When it, when it, I watched the ending, I literally started tearing up. I'm like, it's over. I wasn't crying because, like, I wasn't, well, I mean, I wasn't really crying. But I was, like, tearing up. I was like. Frasier was a six for me. Frasier's really close up there. But, like, the ending could have been a little better. Um, like, I'm going to spoil the ending real quick, okay? So he he had a girl, he got a girlfriend who was like one of those matchmakers things that like hooks people up like match dot com and she was in Seattle and then she met Fraser she, she said she was gonna try to get him someone and they started talking they start dating and she moves to Chicago and he's gonna move to San Francisco but the very last you watched the whole thing in Fraser so the very last moment. He's on a plane, and the pilot says, we're here in Chicago, and that's how it ends. Um, I mean, the thing is, you couldn't really see them together. Like, could you see them together forever? Like, I couldn't really see that. Uh, I think so. Like, a long-term relationship. Maybe even they get married, but I couldn't see them together forever. Um, but... I like Frasier's brother, Niall. Oh, it wasn't Niall. What's it was? Niles. Yeah, Niles. Okay. Yeah, he, he was he was really funny. And then John Mahoney. He died, right? Yeah, he died recently. I remember I, I put I put on pause because I was talking to my mom and I went on Instagram and I saw <coughs> I follow like Cheers Daily where they post videos of episodes of Cheers and it said rest in peace. John Mahoney, a.k.a. Um, Marty, a.k.a. the character's name that he played in Cheers. Because he, he was in Cheers for an episode, and he was uh, floating around with Rebecca, so. I don't remember that. I mean, I, like, I, I kind of do, but uh, whatever. Um, so, yeah, the, Marty is gone, unfortunately, but. And the dog. Doc's probably been dead for years. But Shut up, the dog was funny. Yeah, he, he was. I'm surprised it was the same dog throughout the whole show. Yeah. Um, 
Because he looked a bit... Um, <clears throat> he probably was like at least a year old when the show started. And to be fair, dogs don't live very long. They live... Uh, on average, probably like 10, 13 years. So, and that show went on for 11 seasons, so... Uh, but yeah, Frasier is just such a good show, and... And I thought they were gonna do it in a house, I didn't think... Cause I saw, like, bits and pieces where it shows, like, the set, and... I'm like, that looks like a house. And then when I saw they were living in an apartment, I was like... Okay, they're gonna move. And they never moved, I'm like... Oh, okay. It's not so bad anyways. What's your number one? My number one. You said it's Friends. Best show of all time is Friends. Funny ass show. I watched that probably at least like four times a week. Same. It's just a funny show. It's just like, if you're in like a bad mood or like a yeah. sad mood, then you're just like, it's a funny show that will like lighten your day up, so. To be fair, if you're in a sad mood, any of these shows will lighten your day up. Um. Yeah. Well, Friends was a really funny show. My favorite character was probably Chandler. I found Chandler hilarious. Yeah, Ch Chandler was my favorite. Do you remember too. the episode where um, he, uh, Rachel's boyfriend? I think it was Pablo. No. I don't know. She had a lot of boyfriends. What's it? What's Ben? Aff no. Who's the guy that played Night Night the Museum? What was it? Oh, uh, Ben Stiller. Ben Stiller. Did you remember that episode? Yeah, he, he's a dick. <laughs> yeah, he's a dick to like the duck, and Chandler was like, Get away from the duck! <laughs> I started dying laughing. I, I heard like Chandler in the beginning had like a drug problem. Yeah, like he, he didn't even remember like half the years of being on set, which is really unfortunate, because, you know, when you're on these shows, you're meant, you, go, you go there to have a good time and to do work, and you get close to these people, like... The people from How I Met Your Mother, they're, they're all close now after the show ended. The people in Seinfeld, not so much. Friends really isn't that close either. Besides yeah, the, Friends. Besides the girls. They, they say, we, one of them said that, like, I can't see how we can do a reunion episode or movie or whatever when we can barely even sit down and eat dinner together. Yeah, because Matthew Perry, uh, the guy who played Chandler, yeah. he's like a director. He, he, has direct play, he directs plays now, is, I guess. Is he a playwright? Or just... I don't know. Yeah, so Chandler's definitely my favorite character in that. But yeah. But when you first watch it, you're probably going to say, Oh, Joey's my favorite character. You know, I remember the, the first episode, they were like, Oh, this, this show's going to suck bad reviews. It got so many bad reviews the first show. And then look at that freaking years later. So did Cheers. So years did... later, it's one of the top sitcoms of all time. Um, but yeah, man, I, these are really good shows, um, and there's a lot more, um, uh, there's a lot of old shows that I want to watch, like I Love Lucy, and I don't even know what else, um, but a show that I definitely recommend is Frasier, and you know, I, I pretty much, pretty much everything we talked about, except maybe, like, 30 Rock, but, uh, yeah, so... Any shows you want to recommend? Drake and Josh, I mean. Yeah, it's on Hulu, so. So is Big Time Rush. Seinfeld. Seinfeld's there. Uh, and the it's the whole there. season, too. The it's Office. The Office on Netflix. Netflix, and Friends is on Netflix, too. I think Friends will always be on Netflix, because that's probably their most watched, uh, slash viewed show, um, uh, on that platform, so. Anyways, yeah, that is the video. I don't know how long it is. I think it's probably a half hour. Yeah. Because we had to cut the clip because my sister's a bitch. Doug hates his sister. Yeah, I, I do. <laughs> like, a passion. I can't wait to move out and get my own place. And... When me and Doug move in together, we yeah. wrestling buddies. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> it's a joke. Yeah, I know. I'm moving to Canada when I'm 18 anyway. I hope not. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be able to go to the guy. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah. Um. So yeah, that's it. Uh, what what's, what's your next top five be? I was hoping this was originally gonna be a top five horror movies, but he said that he doesn't even like horror anymore. Uh, I only movies. like I only like Friday and Halloween. That's all I like. He likes the cliche slasher films that are the same thing over and over again. 
with different scenarios and scenarios. scenarios. Same fucking word. Different scenarios and different people, but they all do the exact same thing. They go into a different room. They fall when they're running. It's I don't know. It's like the first ones were good. And the second Jason, uh, the, the, the second Friday the Thirteenth was good. Yeah. Third one. Kind of, I, I don't think I've seen the third one yet. Maybe our next top five should be top five video games of all time. Like that would be I can good. probably do that. Yeah, I so, can do that too. Maybe in a couple weeks. Um, anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. And, oh uh, yeah, let me do my ending. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked this video, please give a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And make sure you do subscribe to see a lot more content. Bye!